Hello and welcome to this latest video in the Tableau for Sport series. This time I'm going to look at using Tableau Prep. I've brushed off this in a couple of other videos, uh, but I want to go back to it because it's a really nice tool to be able to manipulate and change data in a kind of programmatic or a systematic way. And I think one of the biggest mistakes or, or learning curves I see with people is they try and do something in Tableau when the data just isn't in the right shape or the right format. Okay, and that's probably where I see people get frustrated the most is they've seen a tutorial, they're trying to map something, but the data doesn't quite match. And it, it's a hard skill to learn. It takes a bit of practice. But knowing how your data needs to be organized uh, is probably the key skill before you get too far down the visualization route um, and definitely something worth, worth looking at. So for this video, I'm going to take an example of a dashboard that was built by Ravi Mystery, who now works for the... City Football Group, and I just want to take an example of this kind of starting 11 substitutions uh, kind of panel here on the left. Now, it won't be exactly like this, It'll probably take two parts in the video, but I want to be able to build something like this, okay? Now I'm again using the StatsBomb data, which I've used in the very first video, and you can download the file I've made available to uh, so you can follow along. And before I jump into that, let me just show you a little bit about what the data looks like. Okay, so this is the file I'm going to use. And if I go and kind of preview the data in Tableau, let me just show you what I mean. So let me just filter this for a second just to the fields I'm looking for. Oh, sorry, event type. So I just want to pick out the starting 11, just to start with, okay? So filter the data to starting 11. You can see I only have two rows, one for each team, okay? And if I scroll, sorry, if I scroll all the way across, uh, you'll see the data is structured. I'll get to the data now. You can see the data is structured in this kind of format. So we've kind of merged cells, looks like an ID, a player name, a position ID, position and then a squad number I believe it is and each column here is a player or a position so goalkeeper right back center back so on and really that doesn't help me kind of visualize this so for example when I try and bring this into Tableau because I've got multiple columns it's very hard for me to build a kind of coherent table where I have really I want a list of positions player name and whether they came on or off as a sub kind of thing. And just the data format doesn't allow. Now, just to be clear, I'm not having a go with the data format. Uh, it's fantastic data, but it's just the format doesn't allow me build the kind of thing that I want to build in this dashboard. And this is a really common mistake and something I got frustrated with at the start when I was learning Tableau. And you might try and write all sorts of formulas and calculations and different things, but really you need to kind of reformat the data. Now, rather than go off to my Excel file and start copying and pasting, what I can do is use Tableau Prep to build essentially a set of instructions that tells Tableau, when I point these instructions at this type of file, please repeat all of the steps above. Okay, So I kind of think, imagine you have a Lego set here at the start. These are all the instructions, and out the far end comes your built Lego. And next month you get a same set of Lego and you have to rebuild it. Well, you already have the instructions. So I can just point this start here at a different file, a different stats bomb file, press run, press the play button, and it will repeat all the steps for me. So if there's anything you're doing that's monotonous like that, you get a file, you do 10, 15 things to it, and you output a file, I'd really encourage you to dig into Tableau Prep and have a look at it. Okay. Now this is actually what I'm going to build, but I, I'll build it uh, now. So I've already connected to the file, and you do that similar to how you do it in Tableau Desktop. So just go up and find your Excel or CSV file and connect to that. And I'm going to drop it in here. Okay. Now Tableau Prep comes with a Tableau Creator license. It is part of the paid package of products. So. Uh, if you don't have that, you'll need to download a trial and, and play around with it. But there is no free like Tableau public version of this at the moment. Okay, so first step here is I'm 
given all the, the kind of list of files or fields within that, that file that I want. Now, I don't want all these, so I'm just going to select a couple that I do want. And again, you just have to learn this by kind of looking through the data and deciding which bits you want. Okay, so I want those first few, and then I know um, there is a minute. So I want to know what minute the sub was, and also there's a period, which is the half. Okay, and then we can start to come down here to the substitution. I'm not sure if I need all of these, but I'm going to tick these four because I do want all the substitutions. And I do want, we can take the formation, but I definitely want these to kind of tactical line up. So these are the starters. Okay, and make sure we have team name. And I think that might be enough for now. We can always come back and, and add to it, okay? So our first step is just really keeping the fields that we want. This is gonna make our data a little bit more manageable. So I'm gonna click here to add a new step, as they're called. Okay, so you can see then you get a preview of the data. So it kind of maps the data here in terms of what the events and the bars are how often they occur. So again, it can give you a nice little preview. For the purposes of this, and to start this off, this line here is I'm only interested in the starting. So let's just keep the starters. And as I showed you before, this keeps just two rows of data. And all the data is in here, okay? It's not really very useful to me that way. As I said, I want to what's known as pivot the data. So I want one row for player IDs, one row for all the player names, positions, and so on. Okay, so what we have to do is something called pivot the data. So I'm going to add a pivot step. I'm going to grab all those tactical lineups and drop them in here. And again, I'm going to add a clean step at the end just to show you now what this data looks like. So a really important number up here, 22 rows. So it looks like I've got what I want. And if I have a look at an individual row, and we'll tidy this up in a second, you can see here I have Kieran Trippier and all the various details on a given date, match ID, and so on. Starting 11, minute zero, period one, obviously, and Tottenham Hotspur, okay? So I've changed the kind of data structure, and now this will be much easier to manage. But let me go in and just tidy, because I don't want all of these fields. So I don't need this field here. Uh, I do want all the kind of competition information. I don't need minute and period or any of the substitution stuff from here. So I'm just selecting these. We'll keep the tactical formation, we'll keep the team, and we'll remove those fields. Okay, so again, I'm just cleaning, tidying my data, making it look nice. Okay, the next step here is I want to split these tactics lineups out. So I want one, two, three, four, five bits of information out of this. So I'm going to do a split the values. This is like text to columns in Excel, if you've ever used that. I'm going to just pick... Uh, automatic yeah it's done a good job otherwise you can use the custom split and you can decide how many you need but this has done a good job for me and let me just rename these fields so they mean something so this is the player ID this one is the player name This, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's the position ID. We can come back to that if I got it wrong. This one is position name. And then this one here is squad number. that squad 
Um, I think I can test that by Trent wearing 66. You can see there, if I click on the 66, right back, position ID number two, and Trent is highlighted here. Okay. So that's given me a really good idea, a nice kind of clean data set. Okay, you can see I have 22 rows. And this will be much easier now to visualize in Tableau. But I'm not quite done yet. I want to add back in the substitutes. So at the moment, I only have the starting 11. And what I want to do is add in, you know, if Hugo Lloris was substituted, I want to add another column for who was substituted and maybe what minute. So I'm actually going to go back to my input step and I'm going to create a new clean step here. Okay, so this is a branch out of my original file. And what I want to keep here is the event type substitution. So I'm going to right click and say keep only. Let me just bring this up a little bit. Okay, so now you can see I've only six rows of, of data. And I just want to select the right cells now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep match ID minute and period so that's when the substitution was made the replacement id and player that came on i don't think i need anything else uh, no i don't need anything else so let's just right click and keep only okay so now i know uh, no that's not what i want to do need to keep something else uh, match ID minute period oh, yeah we'll keep the substitution type so tactical or injury or so on um, that's the replacement ID and that but I need right, what I don't have here is who who came on so I know I'm missing something from my original kind of data here so let me just double check it's in player so I didn't tick this correctly at the start so there we go player ID player name okay so let me just try that again and you can see as I make a change here, it should pass through to here. So uh, let's just keep match ID, minute period, player ID, player name. So that's the people who were substituted and tactical. And this is the players who came on. So right click and keep only. Okay. So again, you can see down below here in my preview, nice kind of clean data set. And my last thing is to bring these together. I'm going to do a join. So I'm going to drag this substitute stream and join it up here. Now, I think I've discussed joins before, but certainly something you should go off and Google um, if you haven't. Uh, I don't think I'll go through it fully in this video, but essentially on the left-hand side here, it shows you what's joining. Now, I'm not going to use player ID player name I think player ID is a much safer option because people can spell names incorrectly player ID is much better and uh, did it my position player ID okay and you can see it explains here at the moment my my result is only six we had six substitutes and they've matched six players this is like a V lookup although slightly different but I actually want the 16 other players that weren't taken off. So if I click in that little circle, it means I get everything from the orange stream and including whatever matches. So those six rows. So you can see I get 22 rows in total. And again, let me just add a clean step. And I'm just going to use Roberto Firmino as an example. So I'm just picking one player and you can see if I click on it, it doesn't filter the data out. It just gives me a preview of the data. So I can see uh, Firmino, position ID is 23, he's a centre forward, squad number 9 in this match. He was part of the starting 11, but in the 57th minute of the second period, he was a tactical sub made, 
and on came Origi. This is the formation Liverpool were playing and if there's various other information. Again, you could tidy this up a little bit. There's a few duplicate columns and things that I could certainly take out. But I now have a very nice, clean data set. Now, I'll do a proper video in terms of how to visualize this, but let me just quickly right-click and preview this in Tableau Desktop. Just to give you an idea of what this looks like and how much easier now this would be to visualize. Okay, so this is just a preview of the data. What I can do is I can take player name, uh, this one, yeah, player name. We can break it up into teams as well. So we've got two teams and I can then say something like substitution replacement name let's put that in the text so now I can see who replaced who and I could even add the minute to that so that should be a number okay so now I can see in the 60 for a minute when Alden was replaced by Milner Firmino 57 minute by Origi which we saw in the demo so you can see how in just a couple of clicks I'm able to build this kind of table and as I said we'll make a video and make this look much nicer. But that is next to impossible to do if I'd left the data in the original structure. Okay, So that's just an example, one of why you would do it and two a little bit of how you can get stuck in and, and learn a little bit more about Tableau Prep. But one last thing to show you on Prep is suppose next week I have another game. Okay. And I want to do the same thing again. I don't have to build out all of these instructions. Okay. So if, uh, as an example. Um, as an example, I can just take, here's another file just to show you quickly. So there's another final uh, from the 1918 Champions League. And what I could do is, in this case, I could simply copy and paste. And I can add that file to that set of instructions in both instances and let's preview the data and what you'll see is out of this game which has thousands of events I have 22 rows I have all my starters positions and who came on for them if anybody did starting 11 and so on here is the substitute name so I, I, I haven't had to redo all this bit I only had to change the input file that's the advantage of kind of processing this and not touching the original excel file but actually building something out internally okay a slightly long video but hopefully that was useful